Hey guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to do a quick video on these beauties right here. These are the Milani Rose Powder Blushes. I have three of them. Um, I think there might be a new permanent shade. I'll check and, and write it here or in the description box. So I just wanted to do a quick um, kind of review video on these because they're amazing and you should buy them. So I'm just gonna uh, talk to you about what I think of them, show you some swatches on my hand. I am actually wearing this shade today. This is the shade Coral Cove. Now, one of the things that I really love about these blushes is that they are matte. So the glow you see happening here is actually from this e.l.f. Contour Palette, um, which is another really great product that might have its own video at some point. But you get, let's see, 0 0.60 ounces or 17 grams in each of these containers. The packaging is really sleek and pretty gold. Uh, what I really, really love about this packaging is it just clicks open. So many, especially maybe, I don't know, drugstore packagings, powders and stuff. For instance, the um, Wet n Wild powder, you have to kind of dig your nail in to get it open. If you're wearing nail polish, uh, screw you. <laughs> and it, it, I always ruin my nail polish trying to get stuff open. So I love that these open super, super easily. Obviously, they look amazingly beautiful. The embossing on the actual product is really deep too, so I think as you continue to use these products, it will maintain the rose. And I can't imagine ever, ever running out of this blush. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's a really large amount of product, a large amount of amazing product that will last you forever. Uh, these are $9.95 or $9.99. They're 10 bucks. Let's just say 10 bucks. Um, and I got mine at CVS. You can also order these on Milani's website. So let's go through the shades. So the one that I've been wearing and this one I've been holding up is called Coral Cove. The texture of these powders is really soft. And even though this is a pretty bright looking shade, I'm going to swatch it very heavy on my hand just so you can see. Um, it blends out. Just, hopefully you can see really, really nice. It's a very beautiful color. So there's a swatch of Coral Cove. And as you can see on my face, you can blend it out really well. I always think of this as kind of a, a summery shade, which it certainly is. But it's also a really gorgeous winter shade as well. It has that really kind of bright been out in the cold sort of look. So if you like coral, if that's a good shade for you, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. All three of these shades blend out beautifully. Um, they're very easy to use. This one, I mean, a lot does come out on the brush, but it blends away so nicely. But, you know, just a tap, maybe tap off the brush. Um, use a big fluffy brush. You'll be golden. The next shade I have is tea rose and this uh is a really really gorgeous color as well it's a very muted um a very muted pink you can see oops, you can see the swatch there like uh, again blends away sorry for my gross nails it blends again very nice very smooth again it's a great it's a great winter color because it is that kind of soft, subdued, um, would go really well with a lot of different makeup looks. The final shade I have is this in Romantic Rose. This is one of, one of my favorite blushes because it's that perfect shade if you just need a little something on your cheeks but you don't want a lot of color. Maybe you've gone, um, heavy on the eyes and or the lips, and you need a little something just to bring some life into your cheeks, but you don't want to look overdone or, or clown-like. This is the perfect shade, at least if you have a skin tone similar to me. I'm not sure about other skin tones. Um, it's, it's just a perfect shade for me for that kind of, uh, 
that kind of work. Again, it blends, let me just do it like this <laughs> so I can see, it blends really nice, very smooth, very soft, um, and again, it's just that perfect kind of neutral blush color. So I really don't have anything bad to say about these products. Um, I mean, I suppose they're a little bit higher in price for something at the drugstore. I, these are totally, totally, totally worth it. You'll never run out of this. Um, I've had these since, well, I've had Coral Cove and Romantic Rose since these products launched. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when that was, but you know, I've had them for a while and I've barely made a dent in them and I use them all the time. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these blushes if you're in the market for some really great, blendable, easy to use matte blushes, then check out the rose powder blushes from Milani, especially because they're so beautiful and you can just leave them out as little decorations as well. So they're multitaskers also. Gotta love it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little review. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know. Uh, like I've probably mentioned in other videos, I am not a professional makeup anything. I am an enthusiast. Um, something that I, you know, I just play with for fun. And so if you have any feedback, especially around reviews, please do let me know so that they can be more helpful for you. And uh, yeah, thank you for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.